The story you are about to hear is true. Only the names have been changed. Hello everyone, my name's Annie, and this is my Only dog bag. So here's a small collection of a few things I've been up to in July in Canterbury, which is the South Island of New Zealand. So we'll start off with some basic foods, which is breakfast, broiled eggs and soldiers. I mean, who hasn't had this when they were a child? <laughs> so Bo is a cross between a Jack Russell and her mother was a cross between a Maltese and a Poodle and this is the result and look how gorgeous she is. She's just awesome. Saturday afternoon walk in Bottle Lake Forest with the dog. The beach can be accessed through the forest and it's really beautiful and there's a lot of bike tracks in the forest too so if you want to bring your bike it's a perfect place to be. My job is an artist in Canterbury, New Zealand. I decided to film this video. We were on the school holidays in July in New Zealand and we're taking a little tour of Christchurch and we're taking you along with us. So it's the next day and I'm on my way to the art centre to investigate a room hire for one of my art classes. I really love some of the architecture in New Zealand, especially when you're looking at a building like this. You'll also find quite a few wall murals in and around Christchurch City. This is the Canterbury Museum and the art centre is just up the road. I think I'm going to end the video clip here and I'm going to leave you with a short um, snippet from my children's Saturday art class. So now we're recording. Right, so for this one, can everybody see? Do you want to come over here? If you, oh, can you see over there? Sophie? Look what's, what I've got underneath. I've got these little things and it needs to be off paper because if it stays on the paper it will stick okay so the first thing we do is we pour some of the white on this is why you call, um, call it paint pouring that's right so 
think we might put it all the way, we might use all of it. So that's that one. And what we're going to do, we're just going to spread it like this because all the paint needs to move with this paint. So we need like a slippery bottom. <laughs> yeah. So all we're doing is just mixing it in like this. Right, we ready for the next bit. What colour should we do next? Red. Right. We'll do a bit of red. And I'm just gonna put it on exactly the same as what how I put the white on. Like a little square. Next colour, somebody else, blue. What colour shall I do after this, Matty? Yellow. Let's use the rest of this blue. You see, I'm not bothered about what it looks like at this stage. It's cool though. It's kind of already producing some cells with the air bubbles. Kind of. And we're going to just go around in a circle like this. What should we do next? Danica, what colour? Green. And I guess you're going to be the sienna. And then this one. Yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? Right, now after we've done that, we're going to lift it up. And all we're going to do is tip it like this. And look how messy it gets. Is it satisfying? It's very messy, eh? Right, now watch this next step. Okay, so we've got that. <laughs> and this is why I should have had one of these all ready for me. Oh, no. Right, next step, you're probably wondering, why has she got the black? This is where the swipe technique comes in, right? So this is going to go here, now watch this, you get this, but we do it this way so it can actually fit. You ready? We're going to go swipe all the way down. Now what's going to happen, all the cells should pop. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do fairies. It's awesome, eh? We'll do some of those and we'll do a little swirl. And this is all just random, right? This is not the end. Let me get the dryer. So you watch what happens when I get the dryer. Uh oh. Oh. Are any cells coming through yet? See these little areas where it's starting to pop? That should have colours that all cut. There we go, some cells develop in here. It looks pretty. We just like 
blend with some colours and then put canvas for it And then tip it over. That's called the one cup technique. This is called paint, pour and sway. So watch this. Do it really low first. Are you watching Safiya? All oh, the bubbles pop. Watch this. I'm going to go a bit crazy with the dryer in a minute. It's basically going to go like that. Over like that. And you can keep going until you've had enough. So we've yeah. lost some of the um, some of the swirly bits. And what we're going to do is we're going to let this sit here throughout the art class. And when we come back to look at it at the end, you'll see lots of different things that are starting to come. Yes, yeah, see this? It's beautiful. Do you think we need to put other colours on the top? Should we just do it? Should I go in a random... Do you like it or what? Does it look like flowers to you? Yeah. I don't know if it's going to ruin it if I put something else on. I love this little bit. Can we like straight? It's like rainbow here. 